Hi guys, welcome to another lecture and today we will be discussing something about renal tubular acidosis, RTA. And before I begin, I would like to request you to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you are a PG in pediatrics, then please make sure you check out our awesome masterclass in our app. And if you are preparing for uh, any entrance exam, be it FMG, be it NEET, PG, be it INICT, then uh, please also check our image-based course, which is available on our app. All the links are in description below. So... Renal tubular acidosis is abnormality in the kidney, which leads to inadequate acidification of the kidney. So we will try to, you know, uh, diagnose the type of RTA. So proximal RTA, proximal is type 2 renal tubular acidosis, then distal RTA or classic RTA, which is type 1 RTA. And then the last one is type 4 RTA because type 3 RTA, you might know that it is associated with osteopetrosis, uh, type 4 RTA. So there are th uh, primarily three types of RTA that we need to remember. Okay, so the first thing is serum potassium. So serum potassium and proximal RTA is either normal or it is decreased. Okay, while in distal RTA, it is same it is normal or decrease and in type 4 is increased okay it is hyperaldosteronism in type 4 it is hyperaldosteronism so that is important then urine ph urine ph in proximal rta urine ph is less than 5.3 while in distal rta it is more than 5.3 so as you understand the distal rta is abnormality of acidification it is the abnormality of acidification. The ions, the H plus ions cannot be secreted inside the urine. That is the abnormality in type 1 or distal RTA. Now, second is, you. third is urine anion gap. Urine anion gap. So, urine anion gap is proximal RTA is negative, while it is positive in type 1 and type 4 RTA. Okay. Then, next is urine ammonia. Urine ammonia now urine ammonia is low in all three conditions okay while fractional bicarb excretion what is fractional bicarb excretion so the fraction of bicarb that is excreted when it is uh, you know taken out from the value that is available from serum bicarbonate so what amount of bicarb is excreted in the urine? So see, uh, bicarb is very important for alkalos uh, for alkalizing the blood. That is why not much is available, not much is excreted, especially when there is acidosis. But in type two, that is proximal RTA, there is an abnormality of bicarb excretion. So bicarb excretion is more than fifteen percent rest other condition it is less than five percent because when there is acidosis in the body bicarb is stored but in the type 2 rta that is proximal rta we have a deficiency and we have an abnormality in which the bicarb is excreted more than it should be okay next is urine calcium urine calcium urine calcium is normal in type 2 while in type 1 and type 4 it is i okay so type 4, it is normal to decreased. Okay. So as you might assume that urine calcium is associated with a nephrocalcinosis. So nephrocalcinosis is absent. It is present and it is absent. Okay. And bony disease associated. Bony disease that are associated. So it is common with proximal RTA. And Fanconi's anemia is associated with proximal RTA. While in... Com uh, in uh, Type 1, it might or might not be present and in type 4, it is absolutely absent. So, as you might have understood, type 1 is abnormality of urinary acidification. Acidification, which leads to alkaline urine. Alkaline urine. Okay, the, uh, the H plus ions cannot be secreted inside the urine and that is why the distal RTA or type 1 RTA occurs. While type 2 RTA occurs due to increased excretion of bicarbonate. Increased excretion of bicarbonate. And it is associated with Pankinese anemia. So, 
this was a very brief summary of renal tubular acidosis i have hope you like this video and if you like this video please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one